Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so, so to do this, we're going to use a comparison test. So we're going to compare this with, with something like this. Let's say 7 over n squared. Well, this thing here will always be greater or equal to this thing. If this thing converge, therefore this thing must converge. But let's, let's try and understand how we got from here to here. So, um, if you look at this bubble here, the highest value that this bubble here could be is 1. Because as n moves from 1 to infinity, you, you've got 1 divided by something that gets bigger and bigger. So the highest value that this bubble here could be is the number 1. Uh, and then now if you look at the whole block here, 10, 10, um, 10 of x looks something like this, uh, pi over 2. Um, so, so 1 must be somewhere around here, I don't know where. Let's, let's say... Let's say this is 1, and then you've got whatever number. So you've got whatever number here. Um, if you, uh, there, there must exist a number, let's say C, where it will always be bigger than, than, than this value here. So, so, so you could choose 7 if you want to, or, or 8, or 10. But there, there, there must exist a C where it's always bigger than this value here. So, so now we can make this comparison. Let's say uh, 1 over n squared. But uh, not. Uh, but then this block, the, the highest value that this this could be is the number one. So anything bigger than ten of one, basically. Uh, I'm just going to say c. There must exist a c somewhere. Uh, one is here. Um, so I'm I'm trying to search for a number bigger than than this number here. Let's just say c. So now c gets multiplied to the top, and then uh, c is a constant. So take it out. So uh, so now it's like this. So uh, hang on, let me clear this up. Uh, let me clear this up. So um, so now now we know that um, this thing here will always be bigger or equal to to this thing here. But we know that this thing will converge. Therefore, this thing must also converge. So hang on. So we know we know um, we know that this thing here will always be bigger or equal to to this whole thing here. Um, so, so this thing here we know is going to converge. Therefore, the thing that we're trying to investigate will also converge. Okay? There's a, there's another way of doing this, um, which I will show you in the next video. You could use the, uh, the integral test, which I will show you in the next video.